right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Khabib Nurmagomedov. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155-pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in... Uh, privacy. Right. I understand that, but when you beat a Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon, and it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything, but nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon, and every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor, and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Well, it's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one tonight. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack. He just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your headgear? I sleep in my headgear. All the time? All the time. All right, big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nibagomeda. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times. Obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your point. Sometimes when you have a closely contested matchup on paper, grapple versus grapple, we see a striking affair, but all indications are these guys are gonna try to clinch and try to... Oh!
using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Nice little kickboxing exchange there from the welterweight champ, Kamar Usman. Usman's another one of those guys that came in as a wrestler that turned into a great striker, which has led him to become the UFC champion. Hands up. Oh. He didn't like that left hand. He's got him right here. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, nice. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kick. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Both fighters get up now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head. Oh! The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Lusu. Shot a double leg. Oh! Ow. Slams him to the canvas with authority. And he's back up again. So the takedown. Nice double leg shot. Oh! Try to attack Kimura here. Oh. Now he falls back into the finishing position. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Down into his mount. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking round in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Uh, working out of side control here, his opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? Now he sees the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Again, pick your poison on the ground with this guy. All that pressure on the side of your neck. I don't know the artery, John. I'm pretty sure you might. You get all that pressure on that artery, and it pushes you to sleep. What is it? I think it's the carotid artery, and a lot of fighters say they've got a pretty good feel for it. He certainly did that. That's why you got to have friends that are like encyclopedias. John Ennis, my encyclopedia. My guy.
All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. It looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.